Football hasn't always been a part of Chandler Zavala. I didn't play football until my last year of high school. Before that, I was predominantly basketball and soccer. And then as a kid, I played like baseball and rugby sometimes. From one year of high school football in Virginia, Zavala continued his football career at Division II Fairmont State. He added 40 pounds to his frame and earned All-American honors as an offensive guard his sophomore season. It was then that Zavala first began to dream of playing in the NFL. So I didn't really think about like the NFL, but I, when I got that, I started to just look at a bigger picture and like, oh, I can really do this. So I just, I started to like take it serious and do what I need to do to be that player in the next level. Good job. One thing he needed was to compete against the elite in Power 5 football, and NC State became the next destination. In 2021, Zavala worked his way to become a starting guard, playing five games before a back injury ended his season. I never really had the need to have surgery before, so I didn't know like the process of what it was. And like, even when I had to get surgery, I didn't know if I would still be able to play because the back injury is like kind of sensitive, especially playing offensive line. As he worked his body back into football shape, his Wolfpack future was in question. A medical hardship waiver was sent to the NCAA for Zavala to receive one extra year to play. We got one no the first time, then the second time we also got a no. The uncertainty continued through the spring when all Zavala could do was watch his teammates practice and wait. To stay focused for something like this, I think you just have to want it so bad and be very patient because people can sometimes be very impatient and if they don't get the results they want, then they'll just give up on that and then just move on to the next thing. But I just kept fighting and stuff and just never gave up and just kept doing what I can do to help the process. One final appeal led to the answer he was hoping for. Waiver approved. Chandler Zavala had one more year to play at NC State. I guess the third time's a charm, as they say. So I got the call from Steve and then I had called my dad and mom, girlfriend and her family. And it was all just got into tears and stuff. So it was very emotional. I'll never forget that day. <laughs> The path was cleared and Zavala put together a final year to remember, a perfect ending with him being selected as a first team all ACC offensive guard. It's very rewarding. It's also like a sentimental and emotional thing just of coming what I had to go through and stuff. And then little things like this you remember forever for the rest of your life. I mean, your kids would be down the road like, Hi, Dad, what did you do in college? First team all ACC at NC State. Chandler has made the most of his short time in football so much so that he plans to play in the NFL. After that, he wants to put to good use the two degrees he earned while in college. My undergraduate is exercise science, and then my uh, master's is health professionals. Hopefully like down the road, maybe, maybe start a hospital or buy one and then become the CEO and look over that and like help others who are not very fortunate in the healthcare world. Helping others, it's something Chandler Zavala has experienced himself. One of the words on our pillars is uh, perseverance. There's a lot of it I had to do to persevere through this, and you just have to make sure you have close people around you that understand what you're going through and that will help you through the process. Because if you don't have like a tight circle or anybody just willing to be there for you, even though it's not going to benefit them maybe, then I'm, it's going to be very difficult. But I was very fortunate to have the people around me just guide me through everything and with all their love and support. I don't think I would have gotten through without my family and coaches and players here.